Hey, a pleasant good afternoon, everybody. This is Sports Fanatic News. I'm Joe Boric, and this is going to be a video on Jose Barrios getting extended by the Blue Jays, getting paid the big bucks uh, for reaching a seven-year agreement of 131 million bucks, having a very good 12 and nine season, 3.2 WAR, 3.52 ERA, over 200 strikeouts last season. At 204 in 192 innings pitched with a 1.063 whip, all above his career high, which is usually um, 4.04 ERA. So with a 3.52, that's a vast improvement. And he's a guy that obviously in Minnesota people thought was going to be a huge headliner in their rotation for years to come. But then the Twins fell off and are now on a rebuilding or at least a retooling, whatever quote-unquote would you want to use, process. Just like I said in the Eduardo Rodriguez video that I'll link at the end of this, we're at 156 subscribers right now. I really appreciate you all. Please continue subscribing to help us get to that 160 number. That is our new subscriber goal now for the end of the month. And then I'll obviously move that goal up once you guys help me get there. I really appreciate your support. But Barrios is a pitcher just like Erod, who is best is ahead of him. And he really showed that last year having his arguably best overall season for the Toronto Blue Jays. And they rewarded him for that. And he is still a pitcher that has a lot ahead of him, only at 27 years old, still in the middle of his prime. He's a two-time All-Star. He's a guy that if he really emerges, he's just like um, wheels at his best stuff is ahead of him. That he could be in that Cy Young contention race with the stuff he has in the next couple of seasons. Or maybe even next year if he emerges from a 3.52 all the way down to like a 3 ERA and really is just brilliantly with the strikeout numbers, has a very good whip, and all that other sexy numbers you want to have um, for the Cy Young. This is a very good move by the Blue Jays in my eyes. Yes, they paid him pretty much a couple tiers above Erod, who I said the same thing. I think the best is ahead of him. But that's because Erod's a guy that had a higher career numbers, albeit because of, like I said, his issues um with having COVID and off the field and having the higher numbers this year, but still having great success in Boston during periods of time that I think he can be a two starter. Jose Barrios, I think, can be a one and a guy you really have as a one for years to come and for seven years now to come in Toronto. That's a great guy to establish the front line of your rotation and then just to continue to pat the rotation and the entire pitching staff around him because he's a great top line guy to have. You got him for 133, which all things considered for an absolute baller that could potentially compete for the Cy Young front line or 131 million, excuse me. For a baller that can compete for the Cy Young each year, that is a great price, honestly, because you see other pitchers getting two something, getting the ridiculous almost 300 something million contract. So I think this is honestly a very nice financial deal, even though he did get paid the big bucks at 131 for them, because you're getting a frontline guy for that, and you see other guys going for heftily more than that. So this has been a video on Jose Barrios getting re-signed by the Blue Jays. Very smart move by them. He has his best ahead of him, and we already saw his best season in Toronto last year, so it's going to be fun to continue to watch his success up there in Canada. Peace out, everybody, and stay safe and enjoy the offseason.